guys welcome back to another video so we have configured the policies and the nighting and everything and in this video we are going to verify our configuration so we are going to we have deployed the two different policies on two different FTDs so I will go to my PC one so PC one should be able to communicate with the internet as as, as well as my server on port number 80 so I will take the console of my PC one and if I go to my facebook.com you see that I'm able to access my internet or if I go to my youtube.com yes I'm able to access the YouTube also if I go to my Wikipedia still good that's good now another verification is that I just want to access this one so if you remember the access policy is that PC 2 should be blocked but PC 1 should be allowed to the server so I'll just go ahead and verify that one so if I say that HTTP 200.1.1.2 and you see that I am able to access that uh, GNS web server over here so first verification is done with respect to my PC one so my policy is good and fine the FTD one is working good so let's go ahead and check for the FTD two now sorry PC two so internet so I will go to my Facebook yes I am able to go to the internet access my YouTube right it took a while but it's coming okay I will just close that one I will go to my Wikipedia because that's uh, it takes less time so for internet that's good my PC2 is also able to access my internet and remember that internet traffic is going via FTD1 and this uh, server HTTP traffic is going via FTD2 and now I will just try to access my FTD web server now so that is a uh, HTTP 200.1.1.2 and you see that I am not able to access it so if I go to my PC one so I will just do a refresh and now I still am on that page so if I go to my I will just erase the history so that I can go with the new connection clear history clear and I will say that never remember history restart and now I will just go ahead with the make a new connection you see that I'm able to access but similarly if I go to my PC2 I'm not able to access so what I will do I will just try to make a new connection I will do the same thing so clear history and do not remember restart and now I will just go ahead and I will say that HTTP 200 Okay, HTTP 200.1.1.2 still I'm not able to access but if I go to my internet I'm able to access the internet but if I want to go to the PC2 is trying to access the server which is which we have specifically given that to reject the traffic so it is rejecting the traffic so this is how we have a manage multiple devices with multiple policies with multiple rules different rules and we have successfully deployed this lab I hope you enjoyed this code See you in the next time. Thank you.